Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you real quick how to add a favicon to uh, Thrive Themes. Let me show you what I'm talking about here. I have Pixabay open, and you see how they have this little image right here? It's a favicon. Mine has nothing, and that's like any website you put. If you don't add your own favicon, it just has this little blank little piece of paper thing. So I'm going to head over to Pixabay, because this is where I get all my free images, and I found, I typed in um, video, because I figured I'll do a bunch of videos. So I'll just make this my favicon until, I mean, I can change it in the future, but these are free, so in order to save time, I'm going to download this small one, it's 640 by 640, download. Let's see, alright, so it's downloading. Okay, so now that that's downloaded, I'm just going to move this up a little bit. Well, I'll leave it right there for this. Okay, so on the, on the WordPress dashboard, I just did some updates, so let me close that out. So all you have to do, this is Thrive Themes. They made it really easy to do, because usually you have to um, use FTP and put it in a certain folder, and it's like a certain image type. This is basically a regular image, and uh, you can just upload it, and it like the theme will format it into the little ICO file. So let's see, go to Appearance, Customize. And then this is just basically a, a little shortcut to customizing the blog. See, it kind of shows you, or the, the website it shows you everything. Like that's my last post. So it kind of just shows you the home page. So let's see, Site Identity. And then this is my title and uh, my tagline. So see, site icon. And it has to be at least 512 pixels wide. That one was 640, so it should be fine. So I'm going to hit Select Image. And it pulls up the uh, media library, but i got to upload it from my desktop. So Select Files. And this is my folder I saved it in. Right here, I'm going to rename it real quick before I upload it. I'll just type Fabicon. Okay, so open. And now it's basically, um, see it suggested image size. It's bigger than that, so it'll just kind of resize it down. And that's what it's doing right now. Okay, so it, it's all done. So it makes sure it's selected, and then I'm just going to leave the title the same. It's fine. I'm just going to click on Select. And it's asking if I want to crop the image. I really don't want, well, I guess I have to, but let me make sure it's not going to clip anything. Looks like it should be all right. Crop image. Okay, so that's done. And now it just kind of shows you over here. That's the preview of it. So later on, you know, if I wanted to change it, I can just hit change image and remove it. But let me just show you real quick. Oh, you can probably see it. There it is. See, now I got that little play button instead of just that little blank piece of paper. So it kind of just makes it look a little bit more customized. And um, in the future, I might, you know, if I make like a logo or like an R and a B or whatever, I'll just put that in there. But for now, that'll be fine. I just wanted to show you how to do it and how easy it was. So let's see. I think that's it. Save and publish. And uh, we're done. So now I can just just close this out. I go see it, it's still there. So let me um, visit the site. Let's see what, how it looks and make sure it pops up. My internet's going really slow today for some reason, and it's not there. It is okay. See, all done. So now that's it. Uploading a custom favicon using thrive themes is pretty simple hope this video helps you out and i will see you in the next one